Wow. Wow. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Long Island Fish Guy here. On today's video, I made a little bit of a crazy purchase. I made a purchase on the online aquarium store Wet Spot, and they came in today. Let's see what we All got. Right guys, so I already took the liberty to cutting open this box. Um, on the inside, there is a styrofoam lid. Um, I'm gonna be taking these fish out and basically putting them in this bucket that I have right over here. Um, here's just a little information about the order and things like that. Now, the fish that I ordered was kind of impulsive, but I wanted to get this certain type of fish that gets too big, uh, typically for an aquarium. And this is a dwarf version of it, um, as well as some other things I got that I've had before that are kind of rare, and also things that are new to me. It's a nice little packaging there. Keep everything all tight. We got paper. Very nice packaging. I'm assuming no heat pad or anything. Uh, just because of... Alright. So we got stuff in here that's swimming around like crazy. This is a dwarf giraffe catfish. Really excited about this guy. This is the fish that I really wanted to get. This is the uh, the giraffe nose catfish. Is something that I've always looked at and loved. Put that in the bag. Let's see what else we got here. Here's the second dwarf giraffe. This one looks a little smaller. Um, a little bit more... Uh, maybe docile, if that's the best word for it. Um, but these fish look really cool. I'm super excited to open these bad boys up and put them into the quarantine tank. Wow. Wow. We got the purple spotted gudgeon back. Now, this guy is much bigger than the one that I had. If you remember my 29-gallon Asian tank, when I converted it over and all the fish were dying, and I converted it basically into a planted tank, uh, my, I guess because of the nitrate and everything, uh, the purple spotted gudgeon died. But this one's so big. I was not anticipating it to be this big. Oh, my God. I can't wait to get him out of the bag. Holy cow, he's huge, he's so big. And last but not least, we got some Epistogram, Betanatia. I know they're not really the most common fish, um, especially right here in Long Island, New York. Um, these guys look pretty good, they color really nicely. And uh, I already had the Epistogrammas, but you know they weren't really in the best health, that's why I got a good deal on them for the ones that I did have. All right, guys, so excuse the mess. Before we get into actually showing the fish in the tank, I want to show you how I actually um, get fish into the tanks out of the bags. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the bags. I hold it over the bucket. They've been floating in the 29-gallon tank for probably about 30 minutes while I was doing some maintenance on the quarantine tank. Scooped out all of the geophagus that I had in there. And now I'm just gonna cut the top. Now the reason why you wanna get them out of these bags uh, and not really open them up and you know, put some water in there from the tank first and do all that is because these bags have a lot of ammonia in them. Um, oh, I double bagged this. So they ha these bags have a lot of uh, ammonia in them, but they're not toxic to them because the pH is so low. So, When you open the bag, the pH rises. And when the pH rises, the ammonia becomes toxic. So typically when you open up these bags, you wanna get the fish out right away. Double bag this. 
Okay. Now we're ready to cut them out. So we're gonna make try and make this. Obviously, you don't want to you know stumble or make it too fast so that you know you're making a big mess on the floor or anything like that. Just cut the bag. There's a little sponge in here, so there's a little bit of biological filtration in here. Typically, what I do is I just typically I put the bag inside, but for this time you have to cut the bag, not exactly open it. And there he is. Beautiful, holy cow, he looks so nice in the tank. All right, one down, three more bags to go. I just wanna get this little sponge out of here. Now they sometimes, uh, a lot of places if you order online, what they'll do is they'll put that little sponge in there just to keep biological filtration going, um, just so you don't you know screw anything up. But what I can do is I'll cut the video off here and I'll show you on the next clip uh, how the fish are doing, um, actually in the tanks, tomorrow. So, see you guys tomorrow. All right guys, so this is the next day. Uh, hope you guys all had a great yesterday. <laughs> um, the uh, purple spotted gudgeon is right there on the left and both of the giraffe cats are over there to the right. Those giraffe cats, um, I heard that they are very shy fish uh, they typically hide until they're very comfortable inside the tank. I just know from knowing peacock gudgeons, they act the same way. Um, so, you know, he, he's been swimming around a little bit. Then when I get close to the tank, he swims away. Uh, I actually moved the epistogrammas to the five-gallon uh, nano tank upstairs. So, just because I didn't feel comfortable with the peacock gudgeon in this tank with them... Just because those fish can really be eaten by this peacock, uh, but I'm sorry, by this purple spotted gudgeon. Uh, so that's going to be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed uh, taking a look at the unboxing of these great fish. I really am uh, excited to see, you know, what can come from these fish and, you know, really seeing them grow and develop and, you know, graduate to the bigger tanks that we have down here. But that's going to be it for this video. If you also, side note, if you want to order fish, check out this place, Wet Spot. Uh, I'm going to put a link uh, to their website in the description below. Check out their list. Uh, they're pretty good, pretty quick. Uh, the packaging, as you can see, was pretty fast as well. So shout out to Wet Spot um, for giving me these fish. They're pretty healthy fish as well. I'm really happy and surprised at how big and healthy they are. So again, that's going to be it for this video. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment. Let me know what you think about these new fish uh, in the comment section below. Have a good night, everybody. Peace out.